Have you ever heard of no theater? Have you seen these masks before? These are no masks, which are an integral part of the traditional Japanese performing art form, known as no. In today's video, we would like to introduce you to one of the key elements of no theater, the no mask. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Speaking of no masks, firstly, it is essential to know about no theater. No theater, also referred to as no haku, is an ancient Japanese performing art with a history spanning over 600 years. It blends drama, music, and dance to craft a distinct and stylized theatrical experience. No theater is distinguished by its deliberate and unhurried movements, evocative poetry, and symbolic narrative. These performances frequently draw inspiration from historical events, folklore, literature, and religious customs, creating captivating stories. You might be wondering why no masks hold significant importance in no theater. It is because, no performers believe that the masks possess a certain inherent power, making them more than just props used to change one's appearance. Therefore, the act of covering the face with a mask is akin to wearing makeup, with a deeper spiritual significance. No masks trace their origins back to the 14th century, during the Muromaki period of Japan. Rooted in ancient Shinto and Buddhist rituals, no theater was developed as a form of storytelling and spiritual expression. Performers began to consider the importance of yugan and profoundness in no theater. They realized that to enhance the beauty of no, they needed to conceal any unattractive aspects of their own faces. By doing so, they could focus on embodying the captivating charm of no masks and the deeper emotions they conveyed. It is important to understand that no masks were not only used for artistic expression, but also served as vessels to channel spirits, gods, and otherworldly entities. Furthermore, no masks were not seen as mere theatrical props, but were considered powerful and sacred objects. They were often passed down through generations, preserved as valuable cultural artifacts, and treasured within families and theatrical lineages. Each no-mask in the no-theater repertoire represents a specific character archetype or role, with the characters themselves embodying broader concepts or ideas that hold symbolic significance within Japanese culture and mythology. This is why no-masks are widely recognized as symbols, as they carry profound meanings and convey intricate layers of symbolism through their design. For instance, a no-mask that portrays a deity can symbolize divine power or spiritual presence. While, a mask representing a ghost can evoke a sense of the ethereal and otherworldly. The intricate symbolism woven into these masks adds depth and richness to the performances elevating the theatrical experience and allowing audiences to engage with the deeper cultural and mythological contexts they represent. Talented artisans skillfully use various techniques to give the masks a sense of life and energy. It all starts by carefully choosing the right wood, typically the durable and workable Japanese cypress. With precision, they shape and carve the wood bringing forth the desired facial structure that perfectly captures the essence of the character being represented. Every mask is meticulously crafted and paying extraordinary attention to detail. The intricate facial expressions come alive through delicately shaped eyebrows, finely etched lines around the eyes, and meticulously contoured mouths. These intricate details work together to convey specific emotions and unique characteristics in a truly remarkable way. Once the carving is complete, the mask undergoes a painstaking refinement process. This attention to detail ensures that the final product is of the highest quality, and ready to be adorned and worn by the performers. The result of this meticulous craftsmanship and unwavering artistic dedication is a collection of no masks. They are not only visually breathtaking masterpieces, but also carry the profound artistic legacy and cultural significance of no theater. This is the Hanya no Mask. It is a striking and iconic type of mask used in no theater, representing the character of a Hanya, which is a vengeful and jealous female spirit in Japanese folklore. 
In no performances, the Hanya mask is often used to portray women who have been consumed by jealousy and anger, transforming into malevolent spirits seeking revenge. The character of Hanya is associated with tragic love stories and the destructive power of unchecked emotions. The one we most often see is Komote, and they represent the various female characters, including young women, noble ladies, and supernatural beings. In no theater, female roles are traditionally performed by male actors, and female masks play a crucial role in bringing these characters to life. Even though male performers wear these masks, they skillfully capture the essence of femininity, captivating the audience with their beauty and powerful performance. The Okina mask is considered very sacred and at times treated as the embodiment of God, bringing longevity and prosperity to Japanese families. As the oldest mask in no theater, it shows an elderly male with a long white beard, symbolizing wisdom and experience. In no performances, the character of Okina is associated with auspicious and joyful occasions, often appearing in celebratory and ceremonial plays. The portrayal of Okina is an expression of respect and reverence for the wisdom and experience of the elderly. The Tengu mask is a fascinating and unique mask used to represent supernatural creatures in no theater. Tengu are mythical beings in Japanese folklore often depicted with long noses and bird-like features. They are considered protectors of mountains and forests, and in some tales, they possess magical powers and profound wisdom. In no performances, the Tengu mask adds an element of mystery, enchantment, and otherworldliness. The mask's design typically includes a prominent, elongated nose that represents the Tengu's distinctive feature. However, these are just a few examples of no masks that we often see in no theater. It is said that there are approximately 250 types of no masks, with 60 fundamental forms, encompassing a range of expressions from fear to humor. Taking into account the specific no performance, the main actor known as Shide, will meticulously select a suitable no mask. Usually, the exact mask is not predetermined. Instead, the Shide has a range of masks to choose from, depending on the particular no being performed. Ultimately, it is the Shide who makes the final decision on which mask to use, ensuring that the chosen mask perfectly embodies the character they are portraying in the no. No masks hold a unique place in the world of performing art. Each mask is proof of the exceptional craftsmanship and artistic dedication of artisans. Their symbolism and significance enrich no theater, offering audiences an extraordinary theatrical experience filled with beauty, emotion, and cultural depth. As we delve into the meaning and various types of no masks, we gain a deeper appreciation for the enduring artistry that continues to captivate audiences around the globe. Thank you for your time to learn more about no masks with us. We hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time.